What's going on guys? Michael from GPRisers.com and we are back again here in the GP Risers mining bunker. So in the last video, I know we were getting this all set up. I did take off the front end of this. This is going to be the heat box where the Octaminers are going to be shooting in all the heat and we are going to pump it out and probably, I don't know if I'm gonna go into the wall up there, Probably not, but we're gonna pump it straight out into the back there, and that is where we have an exhaust fan that will shoot all of it out of the back of the building. So now you can see that we do have everything off here. I will go over a couple different things that you guys are probably seeing. Um, we do have everything off because we had an electrician come and install um, 330 amps right here. Now, actually, um, two of these were carried over from over there. Um, this one is still active, uh, so we are able to use that. Um, and then we are going to have another one plugged in. I'm going to put another PDU here for the time being until we you know, add in some more Octaminers. And then I'm gonna have a total of these three right here that are gonna come out and connect to the frame that's gonna be connected to this. Now we still need to do a couple more things right here. Add a little support beam right here. Uh, we're gonna add one back here. I'm um, gonna of course tape the whole thing, um, you know, make sure that all the seals are kind of tight so all the air that's coming out is more or less going to be the hot air from the back of the Octaminers. I did have to move my box wall uh, for the time being. There's an ethernet cord that went to the one back there. I thought I was gonna have to move that 30 amp in here, but they were able to squeeze in another 30 amp because this is three phase. So I do need to get my box wall moved back there, but I'm gonna go ahead and do probably some of the HVAC stuff before then. Um, actually, probably don't need to. I'll figure it out as I go. That's kind of been what I've been doing. But real quick, I did wanna to touch on these meter boxes here. Uh, these are from themeterbox.com. I saw these um, advertised on the Hobbyist Miner, um, actually, when he was doing his 50,000 subscriber giveaway. We went ahead and bought um, three of them and they were out of the black. So the owner of the meter box did email me updating me that um, they won't have them for about a week or two, but I wanted to get them sooner. So he went ahead and expedited um, the blue ones for me. And I think that they turned out just great. Now I did have to drill through the hobbyist miners head uh, to get this box all up and going uh, because this one is, you know, uh, its own breaker and it was carried over uh, from the panel. Whereas these two were brought over from the existing ones down there. So if you guys haven't seen these yet, uh, definitely go check out the meterbox.com. Um, these are just one solid piece of plastic. Again, we did have to modify a couple things on them um, to add in, you know, uh, not, these aren't daisy chain, but you know, the wires are all coming in from one. So all of it has to pass through this one to get to this one. But other than having to drill some holes and stuff, it is plastic, so it's very, very easy to do. But I think that they turned out just great. Now, if you guys can tell, this is our box over here with our box wall uh, behind it. I did put extra, uh, um, you know, beams right here on this rack. Now we will be putting a PDU right here, right here, and right here. It'll run horizontal over to the other side. So we do need to get all of that going. I think I'm just honestly gonna use big zip ties for that. I don't really know how else to mount it. Um, on here, we would just have the, there's a screw on the back of the PDUs that would fit just perfect right here. And we'd lay it right there, exactly how this one is actually. But doing it horizontal, I think big zip ties will work. There's tons of space on here to do it. They don't get that warm, so it should be just fine. But yeah, here you can actually see some of the rigs that were in the back there. Um, you know, these weird frames. This is a 3080 Ti, 3080 LHR, and a 3060 Ti. No, a 3060 and a 3060 right there. Uh, this is our AMD, or NVIDIA holding rig, I'm sorry. But for you guys that do actually watch our videos through, um, you can actually see a sneak preview of one of our new frames that we had designed in-house. And we are going to be calling this one the Omega frame. And we actually have it over here. Um, I did put a cardboard box on top of it. We were doing a little drilling in here, but these are not released yet. Uh, we did design these a little bit uh, bigger, as you guys can see, compared to these on this rig, uh, which we will be doing a better video on. You can actually see um, there's 12 30 70 ti's on here but we wanted to show you guys the actual size of this by putting four slot cards on the top here and also putting some msi gaming trios right here where in comparison with these other 12 gp frames that we use which are fantastic for you know you know 6600 xt 6600s 3060s even 3060 ti's i mean we have about 10 max that we put on there but these frames are great for you know six cards eight cards ten cards and 12 cards if they're lower powered but we 
wanted to make something very big uh, to make sure that you could power literally whatever you want on it. Um, it fits 10 fans on the back and also can fit four full-size power supplies on the bottom. And we also made it much deeper. So as you can see, these cards are extremely large and there is a lot of room right here to put your whole hand in and everything like that. But we are going to make a release video for that, but it's in the bunker right now. So I figured some of you guys would see it. So I'll touch on it, but definitely be on the lookout for these. We are super excited. We had our in-house engineer design these and we are excited with how they came out. We made this part much thicker, added some more supports for it. We have our logo right on the side there. Um, these just came out great, but we're hoping to launch those. Um, I'm going to be very optimistic when I say mid-May, but it's probably going to be uh, maybe after May 20th. But definitely be on the lookout for it. I thought I'd just mention it. I don't want to keep hiding it from you guys in the back of the, the bunker. But yeah, guys, I thought I was maxed out on electric here, but they uh, were able to add in that extra 30 amps. So we are going to be expanding a little bit more. We have about 5,000 more watts to play with now. And if you guys have been watching the previous videos, uh, we do have six 3090s that have yet to be able to be powered up on the Octominers. Well, we did power them up, but we haven't been able to mine on them in probably about two to three weeks now. And we did have a 6700 XT rig that's one of these. I'm not sure which one it is. It's kind of stacked like dominoes right now. Uh, but we are getting closer and closer to being able to put them in here. Again, we do need to drill up here to put the exhaust and everything. We have an eight inch inline fan that's going to be bringing it out to the back of the bunker where we have a big exhaust fan that's just going to rip all the hot air out. But yeah, guys, we're excited. Again, um, go check out the meter box. Again, these are you know built very well. All the other ones that I've seen were all 3D printed and you know that, that's fine and everything, but having one solid piece uh, like this is very, very nice. But that said, guys, it's uh, kind of weird having, you guys can probably hear me better than you've ever been able to hear me in the bunker. Everything has been off. Um, so let me go ahead and get everything all powered back up and so that we can start mining again. But that's gonna be everything for this video, guys. I hope everyone watching this has a great rest of your day and we'll see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.